Next one. Um, any collector fans in there? I'm excited. I'm excited about this one for a few reasons. Um, I'm a huge fan of both collector movies. I think, um, like if they are able to pull off a third movie as good as the first two movies, then that's, that's great. I mean, we might have like a perfect horror trilogy, you know, and how often does that come along? It happens, but not that often, especially in horror. So I, I might prefer, uh, the, the collection over the collector, you know, I think, um, both movies are great. And more importantly, they're just very different from each other, you know? different in tone the first one's uh, i think it's grittier both movies are gritty but the first one's like really just contained and gritty and does not hold back whatsoever it's pretty squeamish sometimes um whereas the second one i think is a lot more accessible but they still have some great kills in there like that opening which is kind of like ghost ship i guess where they got this freaking i don't know it looks like this spinning grater or something like that going through this nightclub and just completely obliterating everybody and you know the collectors just like standing up there but yeah so definitely definitely looking forward to the to the uh, the third one uh and, and another reason too is because um i don't know if a lot of you guys know this but marcus dunstan and patrick melton they wrote a halloween script uh it was called halloween returns but i was really excited and then the script came out I think like a year later or something like that. And it's my one and only script review that I've done on my channel. Somebody sent me that script and it was a page turner. Like I was like, wow, it's like, I'm, I'm it's like, I'm, I'm reading a Halloween movie right now. This is kind of cool. And, uh, the script was really, really freaking good. And, uh, just the idea of Myers on death row. Um, and I just remember how this one scene in the middle of the script played out where it's like, it's like all uh, black, uh, in the room, like the lights went out and Myers, they're literally about to, you know, inject him with the lethal injection. And he sees somebody, you know how they let, uh, they let bystanders come in and they'll, they get to watch, um, watch the, the execution. And he sees one of the prey just sitting there. And all of a sudden, you know, how Myers is just kind of like in Halloween four when he's in the ambulance. Uh, it could be just a simple thing to trigger him off. And, and that's what happens. And all of a sudden he just goes crazy. And it's just like a bloodbath inside this room. And I was like, damn, this is unlike anything I've ever seen in a Halloween movie before. Uh, this would have been awesome if it would have gotten made, you know, at least if they did what, you know, if they captured that intensity that was on this script, then this could have been freaking awesome. And I, I'm a big fan of uh, Marcus Dunstan's uh, directing style. He just doesn't hold back. I like a director that can, A, tell a good story, and B, um, not afraid to pour buckets of blood on the set. You know, that's Marcus Dunstan. He is a dyed-in-the-wool horror fan. We've been waiting years for this story, for, for the uh, the collected, you know. And the, I tell you, this first image is kind of a head-scratcher. Like, it almost, like, you could dissect that image looking at you know every section of it it's just strange looking like the way he's just kind of crouching there on top of this desk and there's this diagram behind him and i think he's wearing like a cop outfit or something like that i don't know it's very strange and he's he's um looks like he's torturing these two victims they don't look happy at all <laughs> and there's a the biggest problem with this photo is uh, as somebody who's a civil engineer never use a wooden ladder never use a wooden ladder you always want to go with a metal ladder unless you're doing like electric work so maybe that's what it is but i've worked on wooden ladders before and they just they're so freaking you know they wobble and they break and i would much rather use uh I, is that like a fiberglass material that they use you know like if you go to home depot the top selling ladders they're usually like that the, the orange fiberglass looking material why are they using a wooden ladder i'm just i'm just really upset right now okay um you got these like look at these knives over here that's some creepy shit it's like three knives like why do they have three knives on a table guys i need your help why answer 
Answer the question, Claire. What the hell's going on here? It's really weird. It's a strange picture. It's definitely eye-opening, you know? Aluminum, yeah. Aluminum ladder's good. You can use an aluminum ladder. But I think for me, I just got it's got to be sturdy, you know? I like a nice, sturdy ladder. Yeah. Um, Chris Snyder says, I think the majority of the movie will be in the police station, and he's got traps rigged all over the damn place. Most of the picks released were in the station. Nice. I like that premise, actually. That sounds interesting. Angel of Darkness, how are you doing? Nice to see you in here. Uh, let me let's go to the next picture, okay? At least there are pictures that you can uh, you can decipher, you know. Why is he wearing a cop uniform, guys? Is 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 it going to be the same collector? Because I, I mean, close your ears if you haven't seen the collection, but Arkin captured the collector at the end, right? So I don't know. I'm I'm curious to see where the story is going to go. I will say that. Uh, Tom Atkins is in this, guys. I read that and I I, I, I almost did a backflip, but I, I remembered that I'm I'm too old to do a backflip. Now we got a nice action shot here. Um, yeah, maybe he infiltrated into the police station. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, this is kind of a crafty looking picture. So it looks like some action just went down. She's got some blood on her face. She looks like she's she's the doer and not the doe. Like she's she, I don't know. She's got a killer look on her face. I don't know. That's a good that's a good image though. But uh, I wonder what she's whispering in that woman's ear. What would let me ask you guys a question? What would elicit that reaction from you? What would she say in your ear that would make you give that face? I okay. I want to read some some of your lines. All right. Um, I, if I had to come up with a line. If she said to me, Taco Bell is out of mild sauce, I might make that face. Like, that's a meme right there. Like, that is uh, that is just waiting to be a horror meme. You know, you could put any statement that makes us, you know, go crazy in there. It'd be funny. But, yeah, that's, that's my thing. It, the worst thing to me is when you get to Taco Bell and they're out of mild sauce. I can't take it. I can't take it. I start throwing shit. Um... She's saying, would you like to extend your car warranty? That, Yep, that's a good one, Chris. If she says that, you're out the door. Somebody said Season of the Witch, but it just made me think, what if she's saying to her, like this this girl that she's talking to, she's never watched the uh, Halloween franchise, and she just finished part two. And then the girl's whispering to her, Halloween 3 doesn't have Michael Myers. What if she's saying that? that, would, that that's what happened to me. That was the face I made when I first saw Halloween 3, about 47 minutes in. I was just like, um, I don't think Myers is showing up. Did that happen to you guys when you first saw Halloween 3? Did you go into Halloween 3 thinking Myers was going to be in it? Cause, uh, and I think that's a big reason why a lot of people just hated Halloween 3 at first. Because they were duped, you know? I don't know. Like, if you're, you have to market that fucker hard. Like, super, super hard to drive it home that, hey, guys, the, the movie should have been called Halloween 3, Michael Myers is not in this movie. That's what the movie should have been called. And there were still would have been people pissed off that Myers wasn't in the movie. They would they would still think that he was in the movie. Um, I just saved 15% by switching to Geico. That's a good one. That's a good one. Man, I'm going to have to... Somebody make a meme for that, okay? Go, go hog wild. We could put that in the funnies. All right, uh, this is kind of cool. So he's get, he's putting on the mask. He's donning the mask. Everybody likes a good uh, don the mask scene in a in a slasher, you know. Rob Zombie's Halloween has a really good one. You know, the mask was hidden below the the uh, the floorboards. It was at the basement. Yeah, I think he went down in the basement. Yeah, that's a cool mask too. I like the collector mask. And then here's our picture of uh, Arkin. Now Arkin, he's uh, he went to jail for something, but Arkin is a criminal. So remember, because he was a criminal in the first movie. So um, I, I wonder what he what he went to jail for. It couldn't be because of him capturing the collector, right? I don't think so. 